If you've ever been intrigued by the term paper piercing, this is a set that will be just perfect for you. It consists of two kits, and this tool actually comes with this piece. Um, this is a seven by 10 inch. It is a metal stencil because that's what you need to use for paper piercing. And you can see there's also a pad that goes with it, and that pad is equally important. And as I flash this, you can see some of the art that's included here, and you can see there's just a whole bunch of designs. Now, the second piece of this is this one, and this has, this is also metal, same thing, it's just a different color. It also has a pad. Now, if you didn't have the pad, you could probably use something like uh, a mouse pad, but these are very dense, and they'll accept the piercing tool, which is this. Now, it looks like one piece, doesn't it? However, there are three in here, so I'm going to unscrew this end, and I'm going to pull out the other two pieces, so these, um, points are going to be reusable and interchangeable. So all you do to um, change which one you're using is slip that off, pull this out, and just put another one in and screw it back into the uh, tool. But I want to leave out this one because this is the piercing one. It is a very sharp point and it is uh, held in place quite securely. I'm gonna leave these two out because I just wanna show you how you can use these tools just in case this is new for you. So let me push this aside and I'm going to bring in a piece of parchment or uh, vellum, either one you can use. And let me see, let me set that aside. That's just the packaging. And I'm going to lift this up and I'm going to place this on top of my uh, vellum. And so I've got that sharp piece, and all you do is just go along the dots. So, just like this, you can probably, can you hear a little snap? Yeah, that's what happens. And what you're doing, of course, is piercing into the vellum, hence the term paper piercing. So you do that to any of the areas that have a dot, and especially having it with this tool. Now, you can see, I hope you can see, can you see? Let's get in closer, Steve. He's trying to push it. Okay, so there are holes. There you go, you can see the holes. Now I'm gonna turn it over and they um, pooch out on the back side. Now, you can use that side to go on your card or your scrapbook page or whatever, or you can have this side go. It just really doesn't make any difference. Now, what about those other um, tools? Let me change this one out and get this for you. You can hear some trucks in the background, I think. And we'll screw that in. It's really nice because all of these stay contained within the tool, and I appreciate that because little things can get lost. Now, I'm going to push this back onto the vellum and scoot this over. Now, all of these larger areas, that's where the embossing tool is gonna to come in. Now, there's one that is a little bit larger and there's one that's very tiny, but both of them have kind of a, whoops, there it is. Both of them have kind of a ball on the end. So I've got the larger one, and I'm just gonna go along this edge. There you go. And let's see, I think maybe it will show a little better. If I go over here and go maybe into the star. And let's see, maybe right along there. Now I can feel that this is not getting into some of these areas, so I should be switching over to the small one. But I don't want to put a lot of time in this because I've got a couple projects to show you. So let me just lift this up. And you can see, in fact, you can see right there, you're going to get a white look. So what happens when the vellum is pressed on is you get a, a mark. And that's exactly what you want, whether it's a star, a circle, maybe it's a line going around that star, whatever you want. Okay, so those are kind of the basics. 
and why the tools are so neat, but let me show you what Debbie has done. So here's one card, and can you see all of that beautiful paper piercing? Now, she used this big one, and because there's so much on here, it's just really nice to bring it all together. So what she did, let me see. Now right here is this end, let me turn it so you can see all of that very pretty it looks so delicate and yet all you're doing is just popping it in and because it's metal it's holding it in place you don't have to really do a whole lot except remember where you are maybe now there is this a heart area and that is right here Let's see so you can see how that when you press down on the vellum, that white look is just really lovely. And can you imagine how gorgeous that would be or how pretty that would be? Very, very nice. Now, Debbie also did some corner treatments and she used this area, which is interesting, here and here. So she put it on the vellum and then cut along that lovely, lovely edge and then backed it onto some paper and put it onto her card. Now, how do you put vellum on cardstock or on card uh, without it, without the glue showing? Well, I love to do um, putting the vellum on the back of the, excuse me, putting the glue on the back of the vellum where it's not going to show. So hide it behind any of the areas that are really stronger. And then don't worry, you don't have to have every bit of the vellum down. It will stay with just that application. You could also put glue behind here, um, and then it would also be covered up by that um, area. So this is one. She did another one too, and here it is. So this is using that star, and um, I thought it was really cute. Do you see those little mice? Well, they are poking around this um, card all the way around the edge. So very, very fun. And then you can see that she used the star in the middle and then she's got some of this. This border has gone around all four areas. So you get all of these bits and pieces that you can put together exactly like you want to. And just a little bit of ribbon, some dazzles, of course. And um, it just all comes together quite beautifully.